Hi, my name is Isaac with New Siberian, where CD, DVD, Blu-ray, and USB manufactured in Silicon Valley. Today, I'm going to show you how to transfer the content of a DVD to a USB drive. And you can take this USB drive to play on any computers without the need to install any additional software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the transfer on Mac. We also have another video for Windows. The link is shown at the description area below. Let's assume we have both the DVD and the USB drive on our computer. The first thing we need to do is to format the USB drive. Let's bring up this utility from the utility folder. Choose the USB drive we're going to format. Then click on the Partition tab and under the Partition Layout drop-down menu, choose one partition. For the format, if you intend to use the same USB to play on Windows, Choose the MS-DOS FAT. But if you don't care about Windows, then you can choose the native Mac format, which is the Mac OS Extent General. Optionally, you can put a name for the USB drive, such as My DVD on USB. But you can put whatever you like. Click on the Apply button and the USB drive will be formatted. Okay, now the USB drive has been formatted. We can go ahead and download the software. We can use any browser such as Safari or Chrome. Let's use Safari in this case. The website you want to go is www.newsiberian.com slash dvd-on-usb.html When the website is shown, click on the orange download button. While we're waiting for the download to complete, allow me to do some advertisement here. New Siberian is well known among musicians and independent filmmakers for our high quality compact discs, which includes CD, DVD, and Blu ray. Of course, we also do USB drive with custom logo printing. Okay, the download is done. Let's go to the download folder and take a look. As you can see, there's a folder called DVD on USB. Inside the folder, you'll find the software. All we need to do is drag and drop everything to the USB drive. The files will take a few minutes or so to be copied to the USB drive, so let's fast forward the video a little bit. Once the software is on the USB drive, let's look at the file structure. On the USB drive, there's a folder called video underscore ts, which is empty now. On the DVD, there's also a folder with the same name and there are some files inside. Our purpose is to copy the files in the underscore ts folder on the DVD to the folder with the same name on the USB drive. At this point, you can drag all the files from the DVD over to the USB drive, or you can do one level up by dragging the video underscore ts folder to the USB drive and confirm to replace. Again, the copying is going to take even longer, as the video files are much bigger than the software files. Let's fast forward to speed it up. Voila, it's done. Let's eject the DVD to make sure the only video source is from the USB drive. By the way, if you don't intend to work on PC, you can delete the Play DVD on PC icon. Now we can click on the Play Video on Mac icon to start the video playing. Hold on, if you see this warning message, that means your security level is too tight. Just follow the screen instruction to lower the level. You can set it back to the higher level later. Now we can try again. Click open and there you go. As you can see the DVD is playing, the menu on the DVD is preserved, and the recipient of the USB drive doesn't need to install any software on his or her computer. And that's it for today's video. I hope you find the information useful. To order some high quality USB drive, please call New Siberian at 877-423-4383 or visit our website at www.newsiberian.com.